Mtozi chwangi. Mtozi chwangi. We visited Lake Riambezi only to find that people they experienced that now it's flooding, the lake is full. While in the past this lake it used to be dry, it was more used for farming crop production. And uh, the building that we see that side, it used to be the grain storage. But by this moment, the building is not being utilized as it was supposed to be. It's now just a, a white elephant on its own. Otherwise, now people, they are enjoying their fishing. Yeah, just from from the from the school, then forward where there where there's a network area. Yeah, that's where my village is. This past few years, it was just the dry. We even used to plow here. There was no water. We had a, a what a well somewhere there. there. There were many wells where we used to fetch water before we had some taps. I think the, the reason why, because this water here is coming from Angola side, this flood water, which means that there is a lot of rain. It seems maybe for this few days the, the, the rain was so high, which, which, which caused the, the flooding here. But the, the, for, to, my, to my own experience, talking from, from last year, last year there was rain, but not so much. Even now, even, even, even this season, I, I, the rain which we used to, to receive. I, this, this year it's just a little. Then we never knew that the, this place can be flooded like this. It was just history. Just small, that's a small road, then you, you just proceed going forward. That, that tree which you see there in the water, that's our field we used to plow there before. Maybe it was 2007, that's where the water ended, the flood water ended. But up to, to now, it's even exceeding from that point to another. It's even expand, expanding, which means the way that we had to plow, we used to plow, the portion is, is now small. We can't even plow there. Igorayo kumarombe tango tu gamoneko. Igorayo kumarombe tango tu gamoneko. Igorayo kumarombe tango tu gamoneko. 